warm welcome back to Basel. Three matches into our third day of action on number one court. And so far it's been reasonably plain sailing for the fancied players. Uh, we've seen in the mixed doubles, easy victory in the end for the Thai pair. Chen Yifei came through and now Jordan and Octavianti also into the last 16. So it brings us to a men's doubles match between the number one seeds, Marcus Gideon and Kevin Sukumuljo against the Korean pair, Choi Solgyu and Seo Seung Jae. Here's how the draw looks for this particular part of the men's doubles. We're concentrating on that top match. It looks like Liam Wang, probably from Chinese Taipei, will be the likely opponents for the winners here. Alfian and Ardianto also in this quarter, along with Go and Tan. It's a terrific record, isn't it, that Gideon and Sukumoto have? Just over 250 matches, and they've won around about 80% of them. Choi and Sio have been ranked relatively recently in the top 20 in the world. They're just outside that currently. Obviously, a much less experienced partnership than Gideon and Sukumuljo. Nearly 30 career titles the Indonesians have won. Just waiting for our court officials to appear and then obviously we can welcome the players here they come Yeah, this match can definitely be one of the highlights of the day. I think we will see some fast and furious badminton. Maybe slightly surprising they haven't met before, but this is their it's first ever meeting. You see. There's uh, Gideon. They've won 34 of their 39 matches this year, which is uh, ridiculous, really. Son of a former national player. They've won four titles this year. Uh, Malaysia Masters, Indonesia Masters, Indian Open and Japanese Open. So Kamaljo. who's four years younger than Gideon. They've been uh, the best male players of the year, two years running now, these two. After an astonishing year last year where they won nine World Tour titles. 
We are the reigning Asian Games champions. And big favourites here. So let's have a look at their opponents then. There's Choi, who's 24. Rank 23, uh, best of, best actually of 19, just last year. Choi is maybe better known for mixed doubles, actually. But he won the mixed doubles and the men's doubles at the Korea Masters last year. And his partner, Seo Sung Jae, part of the Korean team that won the 2017 Suleiman Cup. And they've had some success in some of the lesser tournaments, these two. They've won the Irish and Norwegian internationals in the last year. And uh, untroubled in their opening round against Chung and Tam, coming through comfortably in straight games. Yeah, you mentioned about uh, Gideon and Sukumulio. <coughs> Excuse me. How, much, uh, how many tournaments they have won and, and all that, but there's... One tournament they haven't won yet, which is the World Championship, which is this one. And last year, they lost the, the quarterfinal in Nanjing, where they lost to the Japanese pair, Kamura and Sonoda, 21-19, 21-18. So surely this is one of the tournaments that they really want to, to win, no doubt about it. But it's a tough one. This one is a tough first match. Yeah, of course, they got a, a bye. All the seeded pairs are by through into the, uh, the round of 32. Ladies and gentlemen, Omarai Sok Sin and Chok Soyo, Korea. Yeah, Omarai Kami Sanjaya Sukamojo and Marcos Grandi Gideon, Indonesia. Clearly so got a bit of a fan club in. The top seeds. Play. Play. And not to go oh. more around uh, what. Gideon Sukumulya haven't won, but in the World Championship in 2017 in Glasgow, they lost the quarterfinal to Chai Biao and Hong Wei of China. But it's a fantastic pair, and they've been uh, number one in the world for more than a hundred weeks now. So okay, it's definitely a case of unfinished business here for them. And they'll want to get off to a, a solid start in their opening match. As you said, it, it could have been an easier one, on paper at least. Yeah, this is a tough draw. This can be a good match. Oh, oh, nicely done. Oh, good interception. Looking sharp in the early exchanges, top seeds. Perhaps the most exciting player on, on the world circuit is uh, Kevin Sukamoyo. But that's a flying start for the two Indonesians. Time, good interception by Troy, but trying to have a look at how long time he's actually waiting before he's serving. Trying to have a look. It's definitely borderline. Well, the umpire obviously does have the power to, to step in if he feels that he's taking too long. Well, 
it's been a good recovery this from five love down to five four now and sometimes if you're going to beat some of the big favorites in the tournament first match in the tournament is sometimes the best time to do it before everyone settles in It's wide. Five all. Finding the back line very nicely there. Oh. Yeah, that's once again fantastic interception. So quick, Sukumojo. are not shappy either when it comes to flat exchanges. Yeah, just clipping the top of the tape, that one very tight. It's a beautiful change up though, wasn't it? It was a good change of pace in that shot. But Gideon is doing well, is attacking well from the back line so far. How to turn defence into attack. But so far, out of the four players, I think that Sirson J is the most anonymous one of them in this uh, opening exchange. Well, it's a bizarre scoring sequence. Yeah. Three lots of successive five Fives. points. Yeah. yeah. So true. So let's see if the Koreans can score five in a row now. That would be really odd. Well, they might. Well, that was a little careless. So, eleven seven it is. At the mid-game interval, number one seeds so progressing far. smoothly so yeah. far. So far in good control.
And this is where the Koreans possibly have a chance if they can direct a lot of attacks towards uh, Gideon as what uh, Seo Sung Jae is doing here. That could be quite effective. Sometimes when the partnership from Indonesia is losing is uh, when all the pressure is uh, added towards uh, Gideon. Oh, that's a beauty, isn't it? Wonderful, wonderful shot from the back there by Sukumoyo. And that's what the Korean needs to do. They need Seo Song Jae here in the picture, the left-hander, really to check into this match. He must score points as well as his partner. If it's only the partner scoring, it will never, ever be enough. He needs to check in. A couple of careless service errors in the Korean pair, which they can uh, ill afford against the top seeds. Yeah, good flick serve. I'm here. And Choi is uh, complaining to the uh, service judge. He felt that that was a double action flick serve from uh, Sukamolio, but it was not caught. leave in the end <laughs> yeah this is one of the trademarks of uh, Sukamoyo he's very often doing that pretending to play the shot but then leaving it at the very last second it's good play at the net from Choi the two pairs wants to lift it that's for sure that's wide well it's a pity that it ended on an error because it was a terrific rally yeah, none of the pairs wants to lift they're really going for the initiative Once again, a very effective flick serve here by Sukamolio.
This time Troy was ready. He was anticipating the, uh, the flick serve. Got the opportunity but missed it. This lift here from Gideon. Yeah, well anticipated. Very, very fast approach there by Choi. And that serve, he's really holding it for a long time. Yeah, testing the patience of the umpires for sure. But it's five game points for the top seeds. It's kind of waiting for the opponent to lose a little bit of balance. Wyatt, yes. Well, I think you probably classify that as a, a very useful workout in the opening game. The top seeds, 21-16 in the end, in quarter of an hour on court. But it was uh, entertaining and pretty competitive for the most part. And the job only half done for Gideon and Sukamulya. <laughs> It would be interesting to see if one of the combination was taking off the pace a little bit more and not going into all the flat exchanges. But definitely working in favour of uh, this combination here. They are winning the majority of these fast exchanges and perhaps it was for the Korean pair to think maybe we should block a few more.
Yeah, I mean, it wasn't as though the Koreans were totally outclassed in that first game. Definitely not. 21-16 uh, is a very, very good score. But still, I, I felt at the very end of that first game, they were far from, from able to win it. So they, they need to do some soul searching. They need to go into what can we do to upset this? Yeah, always kind of being held at arm's length just about by the exactly. Oh, exactly. Very fast flick serve there by uh, Seo Jong Jae. where Choi is getting the better of uh, Sukamolio in the flat exchange. Well, that was a good move, wasn't it? Went for the flicker. Yeah. And uh, I would say it is an advantage on occasions to flick to, to Gideon. He, he is not as fast as uh, Sukamoyu to get back and attack it. And uh, it gives good counter-attacking opportunities. There's a challenge on that one. And that came immediately. So perhaps this one. Well, let's see what Hawkeye says. It was called in. And as you say, literally within, uh, within a second, both... The Korean players' arms were up, so now we reckon that was wide or long, and it certainly was by a, by a distance. So they'll keep that challenge, obviously. Flicker plan works again. Choi has definitely played well in the Korean combination. Good defensive work, finding the sideline. Sometimes I just simply do not understand why players are trying to do it, you know? They know, everybody knows that Sukumoyo is so good at that. Why try to see if you can pass it when you get punished, let's say, eight out of ten times? Why not just make sure that you play it towards the back where he's got no chance of interception? I simply don't get it sometimes. Because he's so good at it. A challenge on the low surf. The surf from the Koreans was uh, called out, but uh, they want to challenge it. And 
surely is a short of that service line. So it's over seven oh five. Yeah, make that four service errors total from the Koreans, and that's too many. Certainly against players of the calibre of Gideon and Sukumulyo. But they are staying competitive in this second game. They certainly are. Rally. Wasn't it just? <laughs> Longest of the match, best of the match. Well, it's interesting that uh, Gideon and Sukumoyo is not really getting phased by the fact that Choi is, is holding his serve as long as he does. Because on other occasions we've seen they're getting annoyed by it and they're getting sort of upset about it. But here I, I think they really know what's at stake and they stay very composed. Shot, found the gap. Forceful attacking unit, Choi and Sio, when they play like that. No respite at all for the Indonesians in that point. it is Choi and Sio fighting back here in this men's doubles last 32. Flick serve again, as I say, it is a good tactic to flick when you're serving against Gideon. Yeah, and a few mistakes creeping in here. And number one seeds in a little spot of bother here in the second game. And what happens is that if uh, this flick serve is played well and the attack is not strong enough from the opponents, then it gives beautiful counter-attacking opportunities. Uh, 
And the two Koreans are really good in the flat. So maybe that's what they're aiming at. Clever play by uh, Sukumoyo there going cross quarters. Seo Sung Jae. Probably the weakest link in the Korean pair today. Instead of Siu Sung Jae trying to force this flat exchange, he could have lifted it into that deep backhand corner. And uh, I think Gideon would have been in trouble getting that one. Oh, that was nicely placed. Yeah. Clearly targeting Gideon, and at the moment it's working pretty well. It is. So if uh, Sukumoyo is out of the equation as much as is possible to take him out of the equation. They are directing a lot of shots towards Gideon at the moment. And in the picture, Kim Mun Su. Former world champion, partner to uh, Park Jubong in the 90s in the men's doubles. Park Jubong, who is uh, chief coach in Japan. And if the Indonesians are to come back in this uh, second game and take something extraordinary from Kevin Sukumoyo. And that smash was directed at the uh, right shoulder of a Gideon, trying to look how difficult it is for him to get it back. Look at that one, flat one up on the shoulder. Really well placed by Siu Song Jae there. Excellent variety in his shot. better pair in the second game, no question about it. And it looks very likely now we're going to be uh, heading to a decider here. Number one seeds just being dominated in the second game far more than they probably expected. Remember, they've never won this tournament. Sometimes being the number one seeds and the acknowledged best pair in the world does carry its own pressure.
think all four knows that uh, we will have a deciding game. And uh, just going through the paces here. This time it's uh, Colin on the back line and the two Koreans are taking another challenge. Well, I guess may as well have a look with the state of the game and the match as it is. Flush on the line. So six game points to level the match here. Send us to a decider. Now that's wide. Well, unrelenting pressure, pretty much the story of that second game because Choi and Sio thoroughly deserve to take it. And at the moment, this is right on a knife edge. Number one seeds being asked a big question here. One game all. A fantastic intensity in this opening rally. And what a positive start from the Koreans. Very, very fast and furious. Battle here, Gideon and Sukumulya, no doubt about it. It's one of the other problems when you're number one seeds, everyone is there to shoot at you. It's almost like you've got a huge target on your back at times. Some players cope better than others. 
Well, that was an important point for the two Indonesians to, to get started here in the third game. Not to give too much confidence to their opponents from Korea. And this time we have a fault, but it's not because of delay of the service, but it's much more because the service judge saying that the shot is hit above 115 centimetres. That's the first such call I've seen on Exactly, this I was court. just going to yeah. say it's the first time I've seen it in this tournament. Which is a good thing, because clearly it means players are learning and adapting to the new law, which was trialled, obviously, last year. Sure, very good spacious awareness there by Choi. say that the man in the picture here, Choi, is playing so well. The way that he directed that defensive shot cross court and setting up the counter attacking, then finishing it, that's really, really well played. Interesting on the serve now. Will he be faulted one more time? What a defensive shot there by Gideon. Oh, sorry, Sukamoyo. Another save by Sukamoyo. But Gideon really has to step up now. If the Indonesians wants to win this, Gideon has to step up and step into it. Cannot rely on his partner alone to, to save it for them. 50 shot rally. And the number one seeds in a bit of trouble here. All going. 
fine and dandy in the first game, but since then, they have been distinctly second best. Under so much pressure, almost seems in every rally, these two dovetailing expertly. And with a genuine foothold now in this deciding set, uh, deciding game. as a, a serious relief to Gideon. And Choi once again taking his time, not only when he's serving, but also when he's receiving. see the celebration he needs to check in now how many times do we see it straight down the middle right between the two opponents very very effective Fantastic match we are watching here. It's really top, top, top quality. Come on. Superb from the back of the court. That's a super video special. Yeah, it's coming very fast and is very, very tight. See, it's landing before the first service line. Good pictures here. Can't fault him for not trying. That he's made actually, Choi. Yeah, good comeback here by Gideon and Sukumoyo. And that's fast. That's very fast at the net there by Kevin Sukumoyo. Very, very vital, important points here.
Missed it wide. It doesn't get closer than this, does it? <laughs> it is starting to get nerve jangling. Final point before the mid-game interval coming up. So the top seeds with a narrow advantage, but it's still right up for grabs here in this men's doubles. So all about handling the pressure from here. That is cool. The two Koreans throwing themselves on the court in order to defend whatever the Indonesians are throwing at them. And then suddenly they get this half counter attacking opportunity and it clips the top of the tape. I, I didn't see any hint of an apology either. <laughs> too busy celebrating. Yes. Well. But that's even better, that one, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not too proud to do a bit of mopping. <laughs> nope, definitely not. Every point now seems to be worth almost double. It's so tense out there. And once again, as I say, that's cruel, isn't it? That one was <laughs> top of the tape and it was sort of deciding where to yeah. go to. Yeah. And then it went down on the side of Gideon and Sukumoyo. Look at that. Yeah, there it it is. doesn't get any closer than they, that. They, they almost are going to start getting some perceived sense of injustice here, the Indonesians.
I must say, I think a lot of people here in the stadium are kind of sensing the upset here, the sensation in the first round, or the round of 32, as you say, because, uh, of course, it was a bye yesterday for the two Indonesians. Good return by Gideon. Net. That took courage by Choi. That took a lot of courage by Choi to play at the net. That is what he did. Indonesians really have to try to direct a lot of attacks towards a series on J. Yeah, well intercepted. Got across there very swiftly. Yeah, but it was uh, a loose shot from Sir Song Jay, and that's what I mean. They really have to add the pressure on him. Good anticipation there by Gideon. Yeah, he saw the chance, his eyes lit up and he put it away, but they're still up against it here. That's good play by Gideon. That's really, really good play by Gideon. He's stepping up now. And he needs to do so. Not too much doubt who the crowd is siding with, and I don't think they expected to see the number one scenes in anywhere near as much of a battle as this. He is really, really playing well. Just keeps on getting better here.
Yeah, and once again, we need the court to be mopped. The Koreans are throwing themselves around the court in desperate defense. And just one point in it. Second wind here, Gideon and Sukumunio, after being second best for much of this deciding game. Oh. And that's a very nice tumbling, spinning serve by Kevin Sukumunio. Almost impossible to return. It's amazing how the momentum can shift so quickly. Five in a row, wasn't it? 14-17, and now 19-17. But the Koreans are not out of it yet. Absolutely massive point coming up here. Yeah. It's time to flick the services now, and of course, especially on Gideon. Can you call it from here? One all, nineteen all. All about nerve and uh, extreme pressure. Oh, that's good interception. Gideon is coming good at the end here. That could be a colossal moment. Well worth another look. It's killed it stone dead. Match point. Good return of serve. Wouldn't be denied. <laughs> Choi held his nerve very impressively. Superb from Sio. And now it's the Koreans' turn to have match point. Uh, the Indonesians facing what happened in 2017 in Glasgow, where they lost 22 20 in the deciding game. In History, that yeah. final. History has a horrible habit of repeating. Can they get out of a hole here? The top seeds. Match point. Oh, that's a fantastic smash down the line. That's how to relieve pressure. Don't get involved in some long, heart-stopping rally when you can just do that.
Bit of adrenaline went into that, I fancy. Well, a bit late, isn't it, for a word? Yeah. 20, 21 all in the third. Should have been done a long time ago. Good serve again by Kevin. A few fingernails being bitten there. Second opportunity for the Korean pair. They're taking their time, that's for sure. He's holding it. And that's the flick serve. Well, it's one of the biggest upsets of the tournament so far. The top seeds in the men's doubles are gone. And Gideon and Sukumulio, the one tournament they really wanted to win, they'll have to wait at least another year because Choi and Sio have taken them down in a really tense, tight third game. 23-21. In a match lasting an hour plus. Great entertainment for the crowd. But Gideon and Sukumulio will look back and think what might have been. Excellent in the first game, pretty loose in the second. And just when it looked as though they were going to drag things round, they were unable to finish. They had a match point, couldn't take it. But full credit to the Koreans who win 16-21, 21-14, 23-21 in an hour and five. That was the winning moment. Just got that all wrong, Gideon. See the frustration there and the elation. Fantastic win from the world ranked number 23 pair. Top seeds are gone. We're back with some more mixed doubles in just a moment. 